ਲੱਗਦਾ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਦਿੱਲੀ ਦਾ ਮੋਰਚਾ ਇੱਥੇ ਵਾਸ਼ਿੰਗਟਨ ਡੀਸੀ ਆ ਕੇ ਖੜ ਗਏ ਬਹੁਤ ਚੰਗਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਪਰ ਮੇਰੀ ਐਟ ਸਪੀਚ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਟ ਬਾਈਡਨ ਬਾਈਡਨ ਨੂੰ ਸੋ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਬੋਲੂੰਗੀ ਡੀ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟਡ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਟ ਬਾਈਡਨ ਵੀ ਗਾਦਰ ਹੇਅਰ ਟੂਡੇ ਟੂ ਸੀਕ ਯੂਰ ਹੈਲਪ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਆਰ ਚੋਜ਼ਨ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਟ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਵੀ ਸੀ ਯੂ ਨਾਟ ਜਸਟ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਲੀਡਰ ਬਟ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਅ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਦੈਟ ਹੈਜ਼ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸਡ ਟ੍ਰੈਜੀਡੀ we see pain get strength and compassion in your eyes and assume you can very well empathize with the extreme pain that we are feeling as a community we the citizens of the united states of america sorry we the citizens of the united states of america we need your help i can speak for all of us here today and for all who couldn't be here in physical form We have been undergoing non-stop anxiety, depression and sleepless nights. We can't focus on our work, our families, our businesses. We are extremely concerned for our farmers, workers, family, friends, activists, journalists back home in India. <clears throat> you and the Biden Foundation have continuously championed mental health awareness. You have an opportunity to help us with the rise in mental health issues in our community. your citizens that are undergoing as we speak we have pain hidden in our eyes but we are showing vibrance on our faces for we for we seek hope in our hearts that you will do us justice we want to talk to you mr president about why we are here today please talk to us for we are also your people now i introduce to you my sister Sakrinder Jit Kaur to speak on the unimaginable disturbing human rights happenings that propel us to be here today Wahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa Wahe Guru Ji Ki Fateh Wahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa Wahe Guru Ji Ki Fateh It's been over 100 days of the largest protest in human history It's been almost 4 months since thousands of peaceful protesters were met with police brutality, tear gas and water cannons. Not even the elderly were spared. Imagine seeing your grandparents unprovoked being hit with sticks. Imagine them sleeping on the bitter cold streets, braving the severe weather conditions. While sleeping, imagine them getting attacked by the police in the middle of the night, attempting to force them to go off-site. As extreme police brutality continues, independent media and journalists are being attacked by police to prevent coverage. Protest sites were caged with metal spikes and barbed wire. On top of that, Indian authorities shut off internet access, water, and electricity supplies. Police even blocked access to toilets. You you would think how much lower can the Indian government go? But every time you think their slew of dirty tactics have crossed the line, you learn of something worse here are prime examples of the inhumane situation in india from a 2 year old getting detained by police to an 80 year old army veteran gurmukh singh who served for 22 years was beaten humiliated and jailed for 15 days is this how you're thanked for serving your nation police help politically hired goons in violent crackdowns heavy stone pelting throwing rocks patrol bombs assaulting with six and beating up peaceful protesters in fact 22 year old ranjit singh was brutally beaten by indian police and goons what was his crime he was protecting a tent of women and what does the police do they carry him like a dirty bag face stomped on and dragged purposely from his hair knowing this is extremely respectful to a sikhi He continued undergoing extreme torture and imprisonment for 47 days. Dr. Suleiman, an American, an American doctor and his team of volunteers providing medical services on the ground were brutally attacked by government agency goons. Even a 15-year-old was spared. No deep god, a 23-year-old labor rights activist arrested, tortured, sexually assaulted in police custody. Shiv Kumar, another labor activist, beaten excessively. Despite knowing he has a visual disability, Indian police remove his glasses, keeping him in the dark for over a month as they torture him. Mandeep Punia, a journalist, also arrested and tortured. Disha Ravi, a 21-year-old climate activist, arrested, 
For what? Sharing a Google Doc. The list goes on, but the most disturbing. Shruti, a six-year-old reported missing on her way to tuition. She was found semi-naked, bloodied, and disfigured. Imagine a six-year-old girl raped and killed. It doesn't even end there. The protesters were jailed for speaking up. What happened to Shruti boils my blood and makes me want to scream from the top of my lungs, as, it, as I'm sure it does many of you, all of you. We are screaming for your help, President Biden. We can no longer turn a blind eye to India's heinous human rights record. In fact, the entire world is suffering from disturbing violations of basic human rights. Your role is critical in condemning such behavior and setting an example to defend freedom, uphold universal rights, and make this world a safer place. Vai Guruji ka khalsa, vai Guruji ki fateh. Thank you guys so much. Uh, the next person we have up, <clears throat> this is the reason. People ask us, why do we care? We live in America. At the end of the day, we all are sons and daughters of Kassan. We all come from that mitti. And our uncle right here, Kalvan Singh from Virginia, is going to share some thoughts. And uh, I'll tell you ਕਰਕੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵਾਦਣੀ ਉਹ ਚੀਜ਼ ਇਹ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵੱਡ
ਹੁਣ ਜੇ ਕਿਸਾਨੀ ਨੇ ਅੰਦੋਲਨ ਚਲਾਇਆ ਵਾ ਬੜੀ ਮੁਸ਼ਕਲ ਨਾਲ ਪੱਤੀ ਕਿਸਾਨ ਜਥੇਬੰਦੀਆਂ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੀਆਂ ਜਦੋਂ ਕੱਠੀਆਂ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤਾ ਹਰਿਆਣੇ ਵਾਲੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੋੜ ਕੇ ਚਲੋ ਬੜਾ ਕੁਝ ਕਰਨ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਯਾਰ ਵੀ ਮੀਟਿੰਗ ਤੱਕ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਰਹੀ ਆ ਭਾਈ ਸਾਡੀਆਂ ਮੰਨ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਆ ਕਿਸਾਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਂਦਾ ਵਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕੋਮਰ ਆ ਖੇਤੀਬਾੜੀ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਪਰ ਸਿਰਫ ਸਾਡਾ ਇੱਕ ਸਿੰਬਲ ਰਹਿਣ ਤੇ ਪਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੱਕ ਤੂੰ ਕਾਨੂੰਨ ਪਾਸ ਕੀਤਾ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਡੇਢ ਸਾਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੁਅੱਤਲ ਕਰ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਦੇਖੋ ਡੇਢ ਸਾਲ ਮੁਅੱਤਲ ਰੱਖੋਗੇ ਮੁੜਕੇ ਲਾਗੂ ਕਰ ਦਿਓਗੇ ਇਹਦਾ ਤੇ ਇੱਕੋ ਵਾਰੀ ਸਿਆਪਾ ਵੱਡਿਆ ਜਾਵੇ ਉਹ ਵਧੀਆ ਕਰਦਿਆ ਉਹ ਹੀ ਖੇਤੀ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਕੋਮਰ ਆਂਦਾ ਵਾ ਪਾਰ ਦੀ ਬਿੰਦੇ ਫੈਸ਼ਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਖੋਲਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਪੂਰਾ ਛੜ ਗਈ ਆ ਜੀ ਉਹ ਆਂਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਬੈਠਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਬਿਠਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਗਰਾ ਨਾਲ ਮੋਦੀ ਨੇ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਇਹ ਤਿੰਨ ਚਾਰ ਇਹ ਕੰਮ ਕੀਤੇ ਨੋਟਬੰਦੀ ਜੀ ਐਸ ਟੀ ਜੇ ਐਨ ਕੇ ਨੂੰ ਦੂ ਥਾਈ ਵੰਡਿਆ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੋਦੀ ਨੇ ਸਮਝਾ ਤੇ ਬੰਦੀ ਬੜਾ ਸੌਖਾ ਵਿਰੋਧ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਇੰਨਾ ਕਰਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੱਗਾ ਚੌੜਾ ਪਰ ਇੱਕ ਕਿਸਾਨੀ ਆ ਜਿਹਨਾਂ ਲੱਕ ਬੰਨ ਲੈਨੇ ਇਸ ਕੰਮ ਨੂੰ ਪਰ ਤੇਰਾ ਖ